Okay, the solution to the third and final question from the Module 1 homework. This involves the creation of a subsidiary. And so we have big corporation creating a new subsidiary, Minicorp, by transferring some assets and liabilities to the new entity. In exchange, Minicorp issued to Big Corp 50,000 shares of $1 par value common stock, and the following assets and liabilities were transferred from Big to Mini. There we have the book values and the fair values. First thing to note is that the fair values are irrelevant. Basically, all we're going to do is transfer the assets at book value from the balance sheet of the donor organization to the balance sheet of the recipient organization. So on Big's books, they're going to go ahead and get rid of all of the assets. They take the cash, the inventory, the property, plant, and equipment at cost, and the patents off their balance sheet. They talk, uh, take off the credit balance accounts, they take off the accounts payable and the accumulated depreciation, and what do they receive in exchange? They receive 50 On the other side of the transaction, Little Corp is going to record the receipt of those various assets at book value. They're going to record the receipt of the accounts payable and the accumulated depreciation balance and they're going to go ahead and issue 50,000 shares of stock valued at the book value of the net assets surrendered. So common stock, 50,000 shares at the $1 par value. The remainder of that total net asset contribution is paid in capital. 